Okay, we are All City Auctioneers and we have another vehicle. It's lot number 1003 and this is for our May government surplus vehicle and estate auction. Uh, this is an estate vehicle that we're selling. It's a 2004 Jeep Grand Cherokee Laredo and uh, here's what I'll tell you about it. That's what we know. We know very little about these vehicles because they're estate vehicles and so uh, uh, you know we don't have the history and stuff like that that most people have uh, you know when they're selling their vehicle so uh, that's why they're sold as is where is so pretty clean straight looking vehicle I did uh, I did drive it around the yard so I do know that it drives and moves starts and runs I engaged the four-wheel drive put it in four low tried driving it on the pavement here and you know how you feel when you got four-wheel drive on hard surface you know it kind of binds and yeah so I could feel that so but do I know if the four-wheel drive works no I do know that it engaged in the four-wheel drive and it felt like the four-wheel drive worked but uh, I have no idea if it's working properly it feels like it's working properly uh, you want to confirm that come down to the viewing so uh, four-door Jeep a um, little bit of dirt here in the seats and whatnot. Uh, the seats aren't torn. I think the driver's seat is, but the passenger seat definitely isn't torn. You can see there's some dirt spots and dust. And, you know, fairly loaded. Of course, Jeeps usually are fairly loaded. You know, um, got some rust down here in that corner. I think I've seen some other surface rust there. Make sure you read the description online on the website. Seats don't seem to be stained, but uh, you know, there's probably some small marks, some small stains and spots. Um, obviously, a little bit of uh, paint touch up there. And. Uh, I noticed this here, kind of right in this area on the seam, uh, placemat or placemats, uh, floor mats for the front, and I believe it's got a full size spare. Yeah, there it is. There. Don't know about a jack or anything like that. You know, I uh, we really don't look for stuff like that. Uh, but you can see, I think there was a pet in here. There's some pet hair there, some little spots of pet hair on the back seat there, but. Uh, Overall, you know, a good detail. It'd probably uh, clean up pretty good. Uh, trailer hitch down there, Reese, tow power. Few small dents on the exterior, you know, because they are a used vehicle. Um, this door seems to have an issue. So this is how I, uh, door handle anyways. I just reach into the back and kind of do that. So not sure that handle might need some maintenance there. Uh, again, a little bit of dirt down here, dirt on the back of the seat some. We have vacuumed, but we really don't clean up the uh, dust and whatnot. So Jeeps are fairly well loaded. I think I've said that already. So now I'm repeating myself. You know, power windows, power locks, power mirrors, uh, cruise control, tilt steering. Um, let me try and climb in here. Um, I have not tried the air conditioning. We don't go that far. There's your, it's actually a lever, which is nice. You can feel it actually as you shift that it's actually going click, click, click as you go in. Um, I'll give it a start. Uh, okay, here we go. All the lights illuminate and then they seem to go off. 220,062 kilometers, so that's 220062 kilometers. There you go. Uh, windshield's cracked and a big chip, but uh, yeah, it's nine degrees outside. Look at that, and I'm facing north. So I'll get outside, let you listen to the motor. See, and I should have uh, left the hood up like I did with the last one. So 
So four liter, six cylinder. I mean, I think the Jeep has had this motor for eons, but now I'll shut up and let you listen. So there you go, that's a 2004 Jeep Grand Cherokee Laredo, four wheel drive, little SUV. Oh, there's the torn seat. Oh, it's also got electric seats. Um, so this here is selling unreserved, highest bid wins. This is in our May uh, government surplus uh, vehicle and equipment auction. Of course, this is uh, one of the estate vehicles that we're selling. We use the online auction site bcsurplus.com, but we are all city auctioneers. We hope you get another buy by auction. We're located in Langley, British Columbia.